All righty, folks. Hello and welcome to Richmond Raceway. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John Theodore Live, recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. I want to thank you all very much for tuning in. Going to be in the number 24, A51 Pro, Podium Esports, AnyKey.org, Martin Sports, Chevrolet, Silverado, in the uh, custom paint scheme, that uh, the custom colors that we get for, uh, for the people of Ukraine while they continue to endure the... Uh, Assault from uh, Russian forces. Uh, got a new addition to the stream tonight. Uh, we got Mr. Uh, Chris Kimry in the uh, spotter stand with us. Chris, you want to go ahead and say hello to the people? Good evening. How's it going, everybody? So, uh, been running some C Opens and doing some practice to prepare this week. So, you know, the first three Road to Pros have not gone particularly well. So, we're kind of just go out there get whatever we can and uh just try to salvage the best we can i don't know if we can make i don't know if top 70s in reach but we're going to try to do our best regardless and if nothing else we'll prepare and continue to learn with an eye towards next season potentially That is uh, not how we want to do coffee. For old black, that's all right. Otherwise, they're gonna pull us out of qualifying. I got one more shot at it. A little bit too much juice coming out of turn two there. Thank you, Captain America. Appreciate that. All right, white flag. One lap remaining here. That was a good one and two. Not a good three and four. Thing bobbled a little bit on entry, but we uh, got a decent exit. 432, what's that put us at? Eight, hey, that ain't bad at all. That'll work. Yeah, that, that we can work with that. Junior fan, good luck to you as well. Yeah, I like this paint scheme too. I want to get it a good finish. It has been, I don't know, something with the trucks. I just struggle in them. So hopefully I want I want to get this thing a good finish. Uh, let's see. Put the set protector on for a second. And we are going to go with this guy for tonight. <sighs> All right. Uh, one more beat us, so we're sitting ninth. Dylan Parker currently on pole. <clears throat> Field's so compact. Everyone's putting in times too. Sometimes you'll see these races where you know you get a, several folks who don't put in time. Passing and track positions so critical at Richmond. Everyone's actually trying and qualifying, which you like to see. That's really how it should be. Feel good about starting on the bottom if we do. Um, from what I've experienced, passing tends to be easier on the top lane, but. Early on in the race, in particular, your odds of being able to miss a wreck are much better if you're low line. So, uh, yeah, should be a good one. 24 truck. 130 laps. Any final thoughts here, Chris, before we get gridded? Let's keep it clean, I think. Yeah, man. Yeah, we learned that last night. Just a little bit of a ding to the truck will have decent impact here. Um, all right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. And uh, 
We're going to do our little pre-race ceremony here, reciting the GLHF pledge from anykey.org. I pledge to be a good sport, whether I win or lose, to know that people online are real people and words have real impact, to set a positive example with my behavior, to speak up against discrimination, hate speech, harassment, and abuse, to show integrity by honoring the rules of my opponents and my teammates, to stop, listen, and reassess if I'm told that my words or actions are harmful, and to respect others, even if their sincere opinions are different from my own. Exclamation mark GLHF in my Twitch channel chat. Link in the description below this video if you'd like to take the pledge yourself. Be part of making online gaming a better, more pleasant place for everyone involved. And Morse, I don't know what split this is. Um... Chris, do you know? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, it's it's the it's the fifty one fifteen SOF split. That's that's you know. It it will have they they will award some points at the end of it. I feel like I feel fairly confident in saying that. So, you know, I'm just looking at this as as a race at this point. It's a race. I'm going to try to finish as good as I can. So yeah, good luck to you, Nick. <clears throat> good luck, don't kill each other. That's that's good advice. That's from the guy starting right there. Right in front of, right caddy corner to me. Ben Bafford. Former teammate Chris Carroll starting right in front of us. go ahead and set us up. Only three sets of tires. Wow. And refuel at 5.1 just so that that's all set for when we need to pit. No time like the present to start saving fuel, of course. <laughs> Partly cloudy day at Richmond. And is it morning? Did they did they actually stick with that? And this is like an 8 a.m. Yeah, that's that's sunrise going on over there. I'm pretty sure that's uh, early morning start time. Yeah, 9 a.m. start time for in sim. So I don't know why they did that. It's interesting. It's interesting starting a race at 9 a.m. It's a very unorthodox start time for a race. I kind of enjoy it. Uh, you know, all these fine folks that you see in the stands probably had to get up at 5.30 in the morning to drive to the track and park and get in their seats, so... You love to see that commitment from the race fans. <clears throat> All right, buddy. Race cars in. Roller, 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 and green, green. All clear. All around. Check up, check up, check up. Oh boy, yeah, that was uh. One outside, one outside. That was wild. Yeah, it was. Chris won't be happy about that. I think that might have done some damage to the front of his truck already. So we lost, yeah, the bottom line did not get rolling well. We lost two spots there, but we're 11th. That's fine. Just looking to sort out here. If it does go long, we're going to want to have not abused the tires on the early part of this run. That'll pay dividends later. Outside bumper. Click. Control with the run. Looking. All good, all good. 12 is outside, even. Bumper. Still there, bumper. Still there, even though. Is it laying up? 
find your tight. Still there. Bumper. Oop, still there. Clear. Nice and easy. Be careful with that three behind you. One in the wall. Oh, yep, you see him. There. Good call there. Thank you, because I couldn't see him when you first called it. Outside bumper. Yeah, the three's really trying to stick it to the outside. He's going to get there. Still there, outside bumper. Door. Even outside. Half line up. Bumper clear. Six point dive, you can watch out. Yeah. He's inside. Just make sure I don't get the wall or anything. Still there, even. Tell you on you. One inside. Bumper. Clear. Six got a little loose there, coming off of uh, four. See his 33 is really trying to make something happen. He's looking inside. He's yep, I see him. Slid my right front a little bit there on entry. Even tight. Door. Over. Clear. Yeah, I got a bunch of space behind. I think I'm just going to let him go here. Contact up front there. 
And there's one going around. Yep. Dylan Parker for you. Saw that happen and I was just like going to the grass is the only way. I'm gonna be confident I can miss this. That was really good racing back here. That was fun, guys. We'll go ahead and uh, get tires. I think 18 laps. That's. You could check up if I'm loose, baby. Well, I don't know. We've only got three sets. What do you think? We have four total. Um, yeah, three in the pits. I know. I feel like we're gonna be not using them late though. So. That's what you want, you know? After 18 laps, if everyone in front of us pits, we're definitely pitting. Um, I feel like even if they don't, it might be a good idea to go ahead and pit and take a tire advantage rather than trying to keep the track position. Got about five people. I'm coming. Yeah. It's hard call right there, 19 laps. The thing is, is that with the cautions likely, we're going to be able to top up fuel here, and we're going to be able to make it from here, whereas other folks, uh, that won't be the case. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If it happens, it'll green or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So actually, yeah, I feel like this was definitely the right call. If it goes green, we could... We'd be real close to make it. I think we could make it with some clutching. Um, because we got... Yeah. I don't think it will go green the rest of the way, which means that we do have enough. So, like, if it just becomes a caution fest from here on out, we have enough to go to the end, and those guys probably won't. They'll all have to pit at some point. <clears throat> we gave up uh, nine spots. Good call going on the grass. Thank you, yeah. My first instinct was high, but then it was like a parking lot up there. I saw it park turning into a parking lot up there. Yeah, my first instinct was high too, because it should that should have been the call. Because he should have just spun low and everyone should have been able to just roll top but they started turning into a parking lot up there and I was like no 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 I know what this is like <laughs> and no nobody behind you was slowing mm -mm. yeah that was a that was a self-preservation move there see so yeah, how we're gonna restart with 108 left and we'll have about 101 laps of fuel left, which, yeah, with with clutching, you can save that much. Um, All right, Pacers in, green, mm -hmm. green. Rolling, rolling, well. Cleared all around. That worked well. Going three wide in front of me. Outside. One outside, bottom three, bottom three, bottom three tight. Bottom three, bottom three. Oh. Nice. One, two. One outside, one outside. There. Ah. One outside bumper. Bottom three. Clear uh, one one outside, one outside. Even. Liking this call so far.
first time all week I've gotten to feel what it's like to have a tire advantage for more than a lap. I like this Jansen guy, he's making room for me. One out ten. <laughs> Just keep following him. One outside. Half right up. Still there probably. Still there bumper. Deal. One outside. up into the old tire trucks now. Bumper outside. So we should be able to pass yeah, these I guys on I the bottom. Could. That was not you. I just drove myself up there. Exactly. I didn't realize how to see this thing off. I just hit it with the rear. Yeah, I was trying to paint the yellow line to give you the room, and I just, I got it all wrong. Even. Tight on it, tight. Get a shot for that, Jabo. Yeah, I owe you, man. I'm sorry. No, that's a great move. One outside. Tight on, tight, 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 tight. One outside. 
tight up. Middle. Uh, one low. God, man, that was... <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that was a ambitious move there by Ty. Right there. One inside, one inside. All right, down there. Slam dog. Yellow. So that didn't work out too well. We we made some progress and then just kind of stalled out. Do you think you stay out here? I don't know. I feel like we're just gonna get eaten up if we stay out because you know it's the same situation as before. You only have three sets left. Yeah, one more set after this. Yeah, nothing you could have done there. I think the uh, eight was just going crazy. I get why. I mean, like, I shouldn't have been having that much trouble getting by Cedric, I don't think. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're playing games. You okay, Tank? What in the world? Yeah, this guy's getting a protest. <laughs> okay, no, I'm gonna. Me. I'm just gonna stay out then. It's ridiculous. What the heck was that? Yeah, I'm, I'm protesting that guy. Yeah, I don't even know. Black flags, nonsense. Who to protest there? It was the uh, three car? Yeah. What, what was that? I'm not worried about it. It, we ended up getting a lot of buffer cars as a result of that as well. So, um, that actually worked out for us, I think, because we ended up just rotating to the lead. I don't know what this 30 truck deal is. <laughs> it just keeps sticking his nose in underneath me for no reason. Yeah, I understand why Ty made that move. I was holding him up. I was a little bit overly aggressive, but again, Take it I get easy, it. Boy. Landon, you and me both know that the race is going to turn pretty bad now. Yeah, I'm not. So it was the three Tayhan? I wonder if he was having a. Uh... But hopefully I'm wrong. I've never had an issue with him. Like I've never seen him do anything squirrely like that before. Uh, so I wonder if he's. I wonder if he had like a equipment issue or something. That's well, bizarre. It fixed itself as soon as he got in the, the cones. So. <laughs> was there a guy? Like, here's what I don't know: is was it him or was it like did uh, some? Was he having to wait for someone because he passed him under the caution? I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, no yeah I I hesitate to protest something like that just because I don't I don't know what all the circumstances yeah, were. My racing can handle it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I didn't mean to brake check you there. My FPU changed and I put on the brake. All right, anyway, back to racing. Yeah, it worked out for us. We're third right now, so we gained some track position. We've got fresh tire. We we did not have many trucks stay out. Green, outside, one outside, clear. One outside, one outside. Clean up, even. Yellow. That was partially my bad on the restart there. I I went on the outside line hey, instead man, of just going right with now. the eight. Yeah, I noticed that a little bit. I don't bit. get it. It's Thanks. all good. Uh, you're still third, so you're still you're second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that worked out. Definitely staying out here. Yeah. 
So the six behind us does only have one set left. He pit both times, I think. Or maybe not, actually. No. Maybe. If he's in the if he's in the lead of those cars, that means he rolled pit road and did not pit. I think there may have been a couple other guys who did that. Because he didn't get all the way to the lead, so there's no way he's got... He got tires both times. I think Fox and the two might be the... Landon Mills or Randall Fox are the lead car with tires, I think. Or the lead trucks with tires. Everyone's giving him the outside, and the <laughs> lucky dog decides to go to the low line. You love to see it. Don't you hate that? You do. You love to see it. I've been there though. Like sometimes it's like, as the lucky dog car, sometimes the guys don't give you the high side initially, so you get pinned down to the low side, and you do have to hustle it around. Yep. We're going to have a little under 80 to go, so we're good on fuel now. If it goes green the whole way, I mean, if it goes green the whole way, we're going to get probably be in trouble with the tires, potentially. It wouldn't be optimal for us since most of the field, I think, has 20 lap better tires. Although we saw in that run, it's like that, that really didn't matter that much after about 20, <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't know. All right, bud. Going the leader here. Uh, we got one more lap. Oh, okay. But yeah, go on leader, not on second. You guys already lined up, so I was like, oh, must be time. Yeah. That happens a lot in the higher splits. Everyone just kind of stays staggered the whole time. Yeah, leader's in your lane, so... Just go with him. Yep. <sighs> All righty, pace cars in. Nice restart there. Outside. Who's there inside? You look good. Thank you. Down, no, send him. Still there. Inside. Even tight.
another yellow. Heat cycles. It's great for us. Yes, sir. I mean, it's it's entirely possible we don't pit the entire rest of the race, <laughs> depending on how the yellows fall. Shocked the 15 is pitting. We're getting close to halfway already. Yeah, man. It's come pretty quick. It's funny, what was it? Uh, yeah, I think it was in the C Open that I was in last night before we did the league race. I actually saw someone stop at the end of pit road, respecting the uh, pit exit closed. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in iRacing. racing. Everyone just oh, like man. runs through, blows the stop sign, and takes the EOL. <laughs> it was a historic moment. Yeah, you're already screwed, you know. Right. Yeah. Sometimes I think I've gotten the message that nothing happened to me. Mm -hmm. you know, it says well, if you're all if you're already at the end of the line, the penalty is an EOL. So you always want to, you know, like if you're close on the pace car, you want to make sure you blow that stop sign and don't get trapped, because right. it's much better to be at the tail end, but on the lead lap than it is to be pinned a lap down. I remember that happened to Rusty Wallace one time. Uh, I was a Rusty Wallace fan growing up. I remember it happened to him one point late in his career, and he was like, man, if I knew that I could just speed, I would have done that. <laughs> nice. Did you move you over to Brad then? Want, hmm? When no, I you? moved over to uh, Carl Edwards, who was also from Missouri. And then when Carl retired, I became a Bubba Wallace fan. Gotcha. All right, going green here. Face cars in. Green, green, green. One inside. Top of three here. Top of three. Right on. One inside. Still there. One inside. Go high, go high, go high, go high. Oh, top of three. Gee whiz. One inside. One inside. Top of three. Top of three. 
Oh, uh, go middle, middle, middle. Good work, good work. There's nowhere to go. Can't just Seriously. park it like that. Uh, you guys know what lap it is, right? I've got engine damage. Let him, oh, let I'm no. done. It's fine. I'm, I've got a meatball. Don't, don't correct him, Kyle. I, oh, yikes, man. Thanks for not running me over, Timothy. Hey, Mills, do I have right front damage? We're done. Hey, Tom, I didn't see shit till we got to the corner, so. Very minimal, probably about Dang 12 it. seconds, 11. Alright, thank you. <sighs> I don't know what we were doing up here. Somebody hit the fence and I yeah, so you decided got, you to got shut to up not get out of back actually. by standing on the brakes. So in probably turn four. Back <laughs> off, but um, still, it, I, it eight minutes required. Bad. We're done. Completely yeah. destroyed. So I'm not gonna. There's no point in trying to finish this thing out. Just gonna call it a night. Well, shoot, man. Take a look at what happened here. Like he just, he just absolutely parked it. I couldn't do anything. Like everyone else. <laughs> I just... Yeah. So he's going. When you hit him, he's going one thirty-eight, mm -hmm. and like. The guys on the bottom are going 145. Yeah. Seven I mean, like, I'm ahead. also going 138. Yeah. Yeah, like... And he just starts breaking. Yeah. There's nothing to do there. And then nobody behind checks up. <laughs> Lovely. That sucks, man. Yeah, it's just, it's not, I, I couldn't do anything. You parked it like 10, like a whole car, like three car lengths before the braking zone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just... I mean, like, Landon bumps into him here, so he gets loose. He chases it up the track. I lift and give him, I gave him the spot. I let him blend in, and then he just stops going into the corner. Like, I don't know what I can, I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to hit him. I, I just, I have no idea what else I can do in that situation. Yeah, and you're free right now. Just, yeah. All right, bud. I'm going to bed. Sorry for the, the luck. Keegan Clark, thank you for the follow. Yeah, it's like, I mean... He's on the brakes. There. Where, where's Ben breaking? Yeah, that's, that's just way early to be breaking.
I don't I don't understand why. You later. Yeah, take it easy. It's just it's short track racing. It's yes, just sir. super frustrating. Yeah, I know. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, you too. Later, man. I'll catch you next time. All right. Well, that uh, that was awful. So uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this to YouTube, but uh, we'll cut the video here and uh, peace out.